All right, everybody, welcome back to the Fantasy Life Let's Play. I'm your host, Saigon, streaming again on Hitbox. Uh, and what we are doing today is... I don't remember what we were working on, actually. It has been a little while. That's right, wood cutting. Okay, so... Here's what I decided to do. I really want to be able to start playing with people soon, but I don't want... Uh, to get carried. So what we're going to do today is we're going to switch back to Paladin and we're going to start hitting that story hard. Because uh, once we finish out the main story, then I won't really feel like I'm getting carried through anything. And then we can start doing multiplayer. That sounds good to me, at least. Hope it sounds good to everybody else. Why did I lose health changing to Paladin? Alright, whatever. Alright, so butterfly requests are where it's at. I'm so glad Laura isn't stuck inside the castle anymore. Maybe we should take her out on an adventure with us. That sounds good. Wait, so does that mean I need to leave somebody at home? Will they get kicked out automatically? I imagine they'll get kicked out automatically. That's what I want to believe. Oh, I went the wrong way. Well met, Saigon. I was just telling the Queen here what a debt of gratitude we owe you. Well, the Napdragon is back to its sleepy old self. The creature is back to dozing in the sun where I wish I was. All is, at, all is as it should be. That's great to hear. Any word from Hughes on the Goddess Cog yet? We're still awaiting his results. In haste, there is error, which we can ill afford. Therefore, we have no option but to be patient. I just made that up. Not bad, eh? I need someone to follow me around and write down everything I say. Also, I have indeed rescinded the order restricting Princess Laura to her room. My mind hath changed. Okay, that one wasn't so good. I don't want that one written down. Although I'm still concerned for her welfare, as she is my little girl, I trust her to make good decisions. Making the right move, Your Majesty. Remind me of that when she gets lost out there in the west grassy plains at night. But I stand by what I said, even while I was caught up in the excitement of dragons and prophetic visions. I was r r r uh, ahem, pardon me, confining the princess to her room was r r r I can't say it. <laughs> wrong, dear. You're trying to say you were wrong. And I'm glad you've come to this decision. It shows maturity on your part as leader. It's very becoming. And we should never forget that when we, you were her... Blah! We should never forget that when you were her age, you were constantly exploring the kingdom. Well, yes, but this is completely different. How is this different? Because Laura is a girl. There are monsters and things outside of Castell. Things that are scary for girls. I take back what I said about you showing maturity. <laughs> I seem to remember you were attacked time after time by bandits and monsters alike, and I also seem to remember it was I who often saved you. <laughs> so guys, I've noticed something. Uh, the people watching this on YouTube can't see it. Azarus is completely incapable of typing an asterisk. This is seriously like the third or fourth time today he's typed an 8 instead of an asterisk. I have never seen him type an asterisk. <laughs> okay, moving back to the game. You were so consumed with disguises and maps, you were constantly getting into trouble. <laughs> hey, Crawl, how's it going? I'm the one who led the search party to the top of Mount Snowpeak when you said you'd never... when you said... 
Ah, I can't talk today. As can't type, I can't talk. I'm the one who led the search party to the top of Mount Snow Peak when you never came back. I said asterisk. Asterisk. Fuck. <laughs> asterisk. And I'm the one who scared away the ginger you couldn't get past in the Elder Wood. Moving on. <laughs> And when you ran straight into a pack of coyotes, I was the one who rescued you. And what if I hadn't been there that time you tried to use the love bomb on the sleeping plains bear? I shudder to think what would have happened then, love bomb? <laughs> okay, okay, enough. Look, I already said I was wrong, okay? The princess has my permission to explore the kingdom. <laughs> as long as she tells us where she's going. I'm sure that you, my new friends, will see it no harm befalls my little girl. Please take these. High HP potions. That is a very good idea, Eric. I think you can stop worrying a bit. I don't want you getting an ulcer over this. Besides, Laura's new friends have proven to be quite the good luck charm. Thank you for all you've done, and please watch over Laura next time you go adventuring together. Of course we will. That was a Calvin and Hobbes reference. Thank you. Good job, Truth. Truth, drop in the mad references. Chocolate frosted sugar bombs. Oh, you didn't know that it was Calvin and Hobbes. Fine. <laughs> There's one small matter left to be resolved. That is a matter of her curfew. How does noon sound? <laughs> Alright, we have earned King Eric's trust. What else can we do now? Let's check out these butterfly requests. Well, let's go see Laura then. She looks so weird when she's not all tomboyed out. Did you hear? Father lifted the order to keep me in here. I'm allowed to go on adventures again. That's great news, Princess Laura. You don't have to use that nasty old rope ladder to leave the castle anymore. That ladder isn't nasty. I'm still going to use it when I go exploring. It feels weird now that I have this kind of permission to do what I should be able to do anyway. It's just not the same when the guards nod and wave you past, so I'm sticking with the ladder. I might even keep pretending like I'm sneaking out. Sagan, you're welcome to use the ladder too. <laughs> be sure to not worry your parents, Laura. I promise I won't worry them. Much. Did I read Father as Mother? I might have. I can't speak today. I'm out of rum. So, I've lost my ability to talk correctly. After all, this is the genuine me. I've embraced who I truly am, and my parents will have to do the same. I want to travel and see all the weird, wonderful, and magical sights Riveria has to offer. Sounds like that would be your greatest wish, eh? Well, your wish has been heard. Such a strange sensation. I feel all shiny all of a sudden. It's kind of nice. Was this something you did, Butterfly? Don't look at me. I didn't do anything. It was probably just a rush of blood from all the excitement. It happens, you know. I think. 
da 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 I must say, you are certainly the most curious little butterfly I have ever encountered, and I am so glad to have met you. But are you sure you're not hiding something from us? Ha! Hiding? Yeah, I'm keeping a cache of dandelion puffs in my pockets. What would I be hiding? I don't know. You're definitely a wonderful strange one you are. You speak, you sparkle, dot dot dot. Perhaps we should have Hughes research you. Haha, <clears throat> don't worry, I'm kidding. I would never do anything like that. Not funny. I'm sorry, well, anyway, no one is going to lock me up in my room ever again. I'm going to do some research of my own and see where my next adventure may take me. Perhaps we could all go together. If you're heading somewhere exciting, please come by and take me with you. You can now invite Laura to your party whenever you like. Like, Crawl and Chad is willing to hook me up with some top quality armor in the dumpster behind Denny's. <laughs> um, once I finish the main quest. Once I finish the main quest, I, I won't be concerned about feeling like I'm getting carried or anything. Um, which is why we're going to be focusing on the main quest for today. I mean, I'm just going to try and rush through the rest of that stuff, and then we'll do the creative stuff and multiplayer and etc, etc, etc. Relax and have fun with, you know, a game. <laughs> that should be relaxing and fun. Uh, Azra is speaking of rum. Zenzander encourages me to get a bottle of rum and add it to whatever drink I normally have when we start the stream. Uh, Zen and I have just kind of made a tradition out of having a drink when we do our Secret of Mana streams. And since you're going to be joining us for the Saiken Densetsu 3 streams, um, yeah. Yeah, if you want to uh, do some internet drinking with us, <laughs> please do. I think he's more of a vodka person, usually. Or whiskey. Was it whiskey? I don't remember what Zen drinks. I've been playing Secret of Mana with him for two years, and I can't remember what he drinks. I'm a rum guy. Just have whatever you want. <laughs> rum and tap water combo. That is... that is. That's what I usually go with. You can't go wrong with rum and tap water. <laughs> Don't go keeping all the fun for yourself. Alright, so Laura can now join our party, but we don't actually have to take her with us, which is good, because I would much rather take my cat and dog, Fortune and Beowulf. Alright, quests. What other quests do we have? Butterfly requests. Professor Hughes. I wonder if Professor Hughes has turned up anything with his research. Let's pay him a visit and see. Now, is he in the castle? Hughes is in the northeast room. Thank you, Chaos. Chaos, reading my mind. I went past it. Okay. Oops. <laughs> hey, hero. Good morning. Did I say that? I can't remember if I already greeted you. Whatever. Professor Hughes! Fine, but only one autograph. Oh, it's just you two. What can I do? Besides humor you while you interrupt my work, that is. I wonder, where is that vol volume on Talking Animals? Uh, what do you want that for? Just where does that voice of yours come from, anyway? Hmm. I can't believe you have vocal cords. Or perhaps you create some sort of verbal vibration by beating your wings. Or perhaps you're hypnotizing all of us right now. Perhaps you're making us dream this. There is something going on with you. I don't know what it is yet, but I'm going to find out. Say, how's the research on the goddess cog going? Ha! Say that five times fast. Ah, yes, that's what I was looking up. The goddess cog is neither wood, stone, nor metal. It is made of material the likes of which I have never seen before. It is said to be millennia old, and yet it shows absolutely no visible signs of wear. 
You seem a bit frustrated. I'm not frustrated in the least. I'm absolutely livid. This mysterious object has the audacity to, to, to exist before me and refuse to divulge its secrets. But my mind shall prevail. I will not give in until I have stripped this of every last secret. You can put your arm down now, Hughes. If you don't mind, I need to study these royal manuscripts in peace and quiet. It's clear that in order to solve the mystery of this artifact, I must approach it from another angle. Sounds like you still have a lot of work to do. For your information, I'm quite busy with numerous tasks right now. Preventing the Nap Dragon from becoming filled with the Doomstone's power is just one item. The threat of these Doomstones is far greater than we had imagined before, and we are no closer to neutralizing the stones without shattering them. But if shadow monsters start appearing all over Riveria whenever these stones happen to fall... Yes, monsters in the area will be fueled with rage. Very good, Butterfly. We all know the part. Such affected monsters have been reported to attack one another. Very unorthodox behavior. But rather than justified attacks, it seems these monsters are being controlled somehow. The question is, no one is asking is, why do the Doomstones only have this effect on monsters? Numerous people, including myself, have come into contact with these Doomstones, and yet there hasn't been a single case of humans turning into shadowy. Perhaps that he understand Doomstones. Professor Hughes? <laughs> we lost him. He's sleeping with his eyes open. That is so creepy. Yes, Mummy, I shan't be late for school. You don't have to call me Mummy. Ah, oh, sorry about that. I must have dozed off there. I'm quite sleep deprived. God, I hate it when they do that. I have a hard enough time speaking correctly normally, and when the game expects me to mess up on purpose, just, God, it doesn't work. I must have dozed off there. I'm quite deep slaprived, you see. Are you sure you're okay? Of course, sleep is for ordinary folk. Ordinary folk who need to sleep. Why would I waste my time with such a pointless activity when I have my elixir? If you ever need a pick-me-up, try one. Obtained elixir. They restore your HP and SP immediately. A triumph of humankind, if you ask me. Thank you for that, but you should still sleep if you're tired. You sound that tired. How can one sleep with so many mysteries to solve? I won't rest until I've solved every mystery in Riveria. I simply cannot rest until then. So that's what you want most, Professor Hughes? Well, your wish has been heard. You can put your arm down, <laughs> Mr. Hughes. You apologize to Dinky, he's my monkey. Oh my, sorry, I dozed off again, didn't I? Don't worry, we'll apologize to Dinky. You really need to get some sleep, Hughes. Who needs sleep when you when you have chemicals? Oh man, let's talk about Fallout for a minute. <laughs> My character couldn't function at the end of Fallout unless he was hopped up on like six different drugs. <laughs> Fallout 3, specifically. Alright, butterfly requests. Life master of everything. I'd like to hear more of what the indubitable crowned champion has to say. Why don't we go and see him? The fresh mountain air would do us good too. The crowned champion. Oh, was he the other king? He's that guy up on the mountain, isn't he? He's in the mountain? Oh, is he the sword? Oh, 
Oh, legendary all lives guy. All lives guy. All right. All right. Good. Good. I kind of sort of remember where that is. And somebody has so many people have so many things to say. Save real quick. I should have turned in my bliss. You're right. I absolutely should have done that. Bom, 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 bom. Bom, bom. Here is foul completed. All right. Well, we 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 completed a quest. You know, I should cut wood while I'm up here. Hey. Yeah, it's uh it's no blow, isn't it? shield. Probably make use of that. Yeah. Have I picked up a gathering life? Yeah, I've um I've picked up woodworking and mining or uh uh lumberjacking. <laughs> I also picked up woodworking, of course. Yeah, woodcutter, miner, carpenter, and blacksmith. I have picked up all four of those now. I'm a special dispatch from Castell Guild Office. If you have any bounties, I can process them here. It's about time. What took you two so long? Your clumsy footsteps have been clogging up my cock cockles? Cockles? Cockleys? Cockles? For an eternity, it seems. You heard our footsteps coming up the mountain? Sure did. You sound like an elephant trying to get airborne by flapping his ears in a china shop. So what do you want? Come on, I ain't got all day. Got crafts to craft and then sit on later. Well, we hadn't really a chance to say hello properly, so we thought we'd drop by. Oh-ho! Aren't you a kind little butterfly, coming to talk to a poor man like me, who with no motive for yourself? Words are so freaking hard this early in the morning! 
so generous to spend time with me. Do you like games? How about pin the tail on the butterfly? I don't like the sound of that. Relax, little flapper. I'm joking. Can't you tell? Bah! Lepidopterans never have a good sense of humor. Oh, I can nail Lepidopteran, but I can't get... Ah. <laughs> <Grog. clears throat> if you want to spend some time with me, I can show you a few of the projects I'm working on. It looks like you have quite a bit going on here. Yep, there is indeed much to be seen here. Much more than we need to see. Ha! What was that? Did you say something, Butterfly? I was about to impart some knowledge to you about one of my many areas of expertise. But if you're already good at mining, cooking, needlework, carpentry, alchemy, and smithing... Well then, I guess I just may be boring you. I suppose you wouldn't even be interested in my pilot's license or the fact that I can read the future. You can what? Really? I mean, if that's true, do you know what's going on with Lunaris? How will it, how will it end? Ah, so you do pay some attention to the world. Yes, the light of Lunaris has sever served Reveria for eons. It can be a bit of an oracle, if one knows how to read it, that is. The changes are oh so slight. So what is it telling you? What do you see? Something very, very bad, my little friend. Please tell me you're joking again. I promise I'll get it this time. I'm afraid not. The omen is not a fortuitous one. It pains me to say it, but... Oh, how should I put this? We are all in deep, deep doo-doo. I saw something fall from Lunaris. Something unlike anything I've seen in all of my years. I can't describe it, because everything quickly went black, almost as if it were all a dream. This doesn't sound good at all. Saigon, I feel you and your friend here are destined for something great. Please take this. Obtained a cape. Is that some sort of magical garment that will keep us safe? No, it's just a cape. It's too big for me. <laughs> you really are kind of high-strung for a butterfly. <laughs> Anyway, I run a small shop when I'm feeling the urge. If you've got some dosh to burn, go ahead and burn it here. Ha ha ha. Not literally, of course. I'd be very upset if anything happened to my cabin. Alright, everybody. This is a good place for... Oh, no? Can we not? That's sneaking. That's sneaking down. That sits down. No, stop it. Stop sneaking. There we go. All right, we're going to take a quick rest here. <laughs> I'll be back shortly. Uh, thanks for watching, folks.